we're going to tackle the A dynamics of Scientology. Let's get on to the fourth dynamic, which is species. Yeah, actually, yeah, mankind, that's right, or species. Um, okay, so we did cover that the second dynamic is family and sex, and third dynamic is groups, right? So mm -hmm. groups, any group you're part of, your job, your the sports club, anything, right? From your point of view, any groups you're part of is your third dynamic. The overall species you're part of mm -hmm. is your fourth dynamic. So you can see that these concentric circles are getting bigger and bigger mm -hmm. as they widen out. They become mm -hmm. larger spheres of activity. All of mankind includes every single person on planet Earth. And in the space station. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Every single human being in the universe. So, um, so that's the fourth dynamic. And, the, and Scientology talks about and pushes fourth dynamic buttons all the time. Saving mankind, saving humanity, right? We fight for the fourth dynamic. Hubbard talked about how the fourth dynamic itself has issues and problems and stressors, and that by addressing each individual, we are actually helping to address this larger fourth dynamic problem that exists on planet Earth, right? When you look at the um, the problems of, of illiteracy, disease, drugs, war, you know, famine, I mean, these are, these are fourth dynamic problems. They're not isolated to countries or nationalities or races. They are, they, they affect all of us. And mm -hmm. so this is where, this is, this is the dynamic where Scientology gets a lot of traction with its members because they push very hard on fourth dynamic issues and, and, and like I said, buttons. And they get a lot of money by saying that they are doing programs and efforts to try to address these fourth dynamic ruins or these fourth dynamic problems. Mm -hmm. and, um, and they get a lot of money from, from rich Scientologists who want these problems solved and think that Scientology is the group that's going to do it. So, uh, so the fourth dynamic is kind of a is kind of a bigger thing in Scientology than you might imagine. Uh, whereas in the rest of the world, you know, most people don't think about humanity as a whole very often. I think about it all the time. Um, yes. Most people don't. You know, they they really are very first dynamic oriented in that regard, right? They really yes. suck into the first, maybe the second dynamic. And that's about as far as their thinking really goes. You know, they suffer through having a job, their third dynamic. And maybe they, you know, go play on a sports team or something. And that's about the extent of their, of their third dynamic activities, right? And they don't really mm -hmm. think beyond that. So Scientologists kind of amp themselves up and pride themselves on, well, we're aware of the fourth dynamic and how important that is and, and how we need to be acting on that dynamic too, and not just ignoring it or pretending it doesn't exist. And I think a lot of religions, you know, are on the safe humanity bandwagon, you know. Yeah, some are. Some are more so than others. I really yes. want to stress this one with Scientology because it's, it's, it's more than you think. It's a lot. They push this a mm -hmm. lot in that group. And, and now the question is, are they really doing it? Well, they are. They are really doing it, but they're really doing it so that they bring in the money to their coffers. Mm -hmm. They don't actually go out and do anything effective 
to really make any difference on the fourth dynamic. They just talk about it. But Mm -hmm. the thing I wanted to stress here, since we're talking about this, is that this is something that they talk about a lot. And other groups might give it some, um, a little bit of attention, you know, throw some words in that general direction. But it's, it's, it's um, it, from my experience and from what I see, um, I don't see a whole lot of groups or activities operating on a mankind level. And I think that's part of the problem with why we're seeing so much difficulty with getting people to give a shit about climate change. Yes. For example, and I'm not going to go on a soapbox about that. I, you know, I, it, it's a big subject. But I think that people's awareness and and willingness to consider that they are part of the human race, the human species, is is fairly limited these days. We're so divided. We're so you know cloistered off in our little echo chambers that we lack an awareness of this. And and I'm not trying to you know pimp Scientology as though they're more aware of this. They're running a con <laughs> using yeah. it, so they're not any more aware of of this than anybody else as far as that goes. But at least lip service. That's what the, that's the that's the expression I was looking for. Yeah. Really. They give it a lot of lip service, and they get a lot of financial traction from that. Yeah. You know, yeah. Other groups don't don't they won't go out on a limb and talk about how they're saving mankind because it sounds ridiculous. You can't save mankind it's because mankind, mankind is not going to be saved. That's exactly right. But um, but the whole time I was in Scientology, I did not think that way at all. I, I thought that's exactly what we were doing. So that um, so it's a big deal in Scientology. That's why I wanted to, to stress that. 